Hello there, this was going to be an unboxing video, but I um, had some problems with the webcam and it seems that when I changed the resolution on it, the video basically switched off, so I'm going to go through things a bit more quickly. Um, today in the post, um, a new motherboard arrived for me. Um, not a total surprise, I did actually buy it on Amazon. Um, I was saying that the uh, shipping of these in this country is absolutely dreadful. Um, Amazon supplied it with stickers on the motherboard box, no Amazon box, and it looks like three people have used this before now. Honestly, it's we never seem to get motherboard boxes that look like they're actually new here. Um, with the box, you get an IO shield, which is a sign of a less than less than completely basic board. Very important in an all-in-one board like this because there's some unusual layouts, such as the serial port such as the on its side HDMI port and then you've got the built-in audio that kind of thing two HDMI cables I think one straight one at right angles nice enough looks really cheap though a manual in a lot of languages not a bad manual but many languages <clears throat> I think there's a lack of jumper settings on them. I think there's jumper settings on the board that aren't in the manual. Driver CD. I've actually been to their website and downloaded the latest drivers, so I may not use that CD at all, but it's there. And then the board itself. So the board itself is unusual because it's a system on chip board. And I bought this for a reason. This is the most recent AMD APU chip to support Windows XP. It's a very low powered and low end um, chip for a modern AMD APU, but it's their most advanced technologically that's still Windows XP compatible. Um, yeah, so I'll jump into it. The main thing about this board, well, two things. Firstly, it's mini ITX, so it's a really small form factor, which I think is really exciting. And secondly, it's. Um, it's an AMD APU, so it is a processor and graphics card in one chip. Um, on this particular board, they only consume 15 watts of power, which is incredibly low powered for any processor these days. Um, AMD all-in-one processors tend to be low powered. It's why they're used in laptops especially, but this one is exceptionally low powered. I think it's the most low powered one they've ever produced. Um, it's not the most recent chipset, I believe it's a 2013 chipset, but it's got the most recent graphics card implementation, which is actually compatible with Windows XP. It's got an HD8 series Radeon built onto the processor. Um, it's actually also a quad-core processor, 1.5 GHz quad-core, which in benchmark seems to perform um, more effectively than the dual-core laptop based processor that's in the micro server which I'm currently using. The purpose of this board is to make it the centerpiece of a very quiet, very slim line PC that I can use as my desktop computer, um, possibly as a replacement for the, the micro server, which although is um yeah it, it's good but at the same time it's really quite loud. The hard disks are loud. They seem to grind away because there's three disks running at different times and it seems to make a sort of vibrating noise. The rear case fan is a lot louder than I'd like it to be. It's not something you can leave one overnight ideally. Um, so I'm now looking for, um, let's say, the modern equivalent of this solution. I don't mind if the power <coughs> is largely the same, which I think it will be on this board but I need it to be quieter, I need it to be more compact. So that's my aims with this board and the reasons for running Windows XP are um, something I've already discussed previously but um, for one thing I'm really wanting to make use of some of the older technologies which were so exciting in terms of computing and possibly I'd like to put the creative based sound card in here but at the moment I'm going to try the onboard audio. I've chosen an ASRock board because their onboard audio is supposed to be um, some of the very best. So it's still a real tech chip, but
but the way that it's actually implemented in the hardware is supposed to be excellent. So I'm going to give it a chance. We'll try the onboard sound and the onboard graphics. Um, I've ordered a slimline case for this and a slimline DVD rewriter as well. Um, at the moment, my plan is to reuse some existing components I have. I have a laptop hard disk and four gigabytes of memory on two sticks. So at the moment, I'm looking to just barely get it up and running with those. But I am hoping to improve on this as time goes on, perhaps with an SSD, um, more memory, more suited memory. This takes up to 16 gigabytes, which I think will be more than adequate, to be honest with you. And um, yeah, we will see. But I'll just give you another look. This was a £60 board. Remember that this £60 buys you the processor and graphics card, basically, as well as the board. Processor, graphics card, sound card, Ethernet card, um, yeah, and the board. So when all these things are considered, um, for such a specialist piece of hardware, I think it's a good price, actually. Um, I was looking at a VIA-based solution, but unfortunately, they are, at the very cheapest, £220, which is absolutely ridiculous for such a low-power system. It might be that the process is slightly faster, but I think you'd have a trade-off with the graphics because they're still using S3 Chrome graphics, which I cannot think have progressed at the same kind of speed as AMD Radeon graphics. So we'll see. Anyway, I wanted to show you this motherboard because I, it's something I know I've mentioned previously. I have actually been looking into this extensively as the replacement option for the HP microserver in terms of a Windows XP compatible desktop. So. Here we are. This is the ASRock QC5000M ITX slash PH, which I believe is the latest rev revision of this board. They've had several, but this is the latest, and from what I understand, it's the most sorted revision of this board. So, as soon as I get the case as well, I'll uh, let you have a look at that too. Bye for now.